If you've ever felt the euphoric, all-consuming thrill of an emotion called love, chances are you've also experienced its less favorable counterpart, loss. As sad as it is, only 2% of adolescent romantic relationships result in marriage. The rest split up. But breakups are just as natural as get-togethers. Though the feeling of breaking up sucks and in the moment it feels like it'll never end, it doesn't mean that future happiness or love are out of the question. Heartbreak is a complex psychological wound. I'm Leah Cole and today I want to teach you how to recover from a breakup as backed by science. So you and your partner have called it quits. Whatever the circumstances may be of time, who did what, or just how in deep you were, it hurts. To feel love for another human being being taken is met with an equally strong feeling of emotions like sadness, despair, betrayal, or maybe even rage. So let's get into what the method of approach to properly recover is now. First, identify what you feel. Really self-reflect on the relationship, what things were like before, during, and after it, and really focus on how and why the breakup happened. Even if it isn't the easiest thing to do, this will come up sooner or later, and unresolved emotional baggage is not something that you want to have built up in yourself over time. Next, identify what do you really need. Spell it out. In these times, sometimes it might be easy to focus on what you want from the other person, like an apology, an I miss you, or maybe just to burn all their clothes. But focusing all of your efforts on them won't help you in your recovery. You need to identify what you need for yourself. During a breakup, it's okay to be selfish to a certain extent. As much as we may still care for this person, we have to sort out and deal with our own needs before all else. One way you can do this is by creating some distance. It's difficult to move on from someone if you're still constantly being reminded of them. So you may wanna take down old pictures that you have hung up on your wall or posted on social media, or stop showing up to places that you know that they'll be, or stop engaging in common interests that you share together. The next step is to allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel. Understand that assertive anger and grieving the loss are two sides of the same coin, yet it is important to let yourself feel both of these things. No matter the circumstance of the relationship, whether you ended it or they did, there is still a tremendous loss to be felt, because when the relationship first started, you were hopeful. No one planned on the relationship ending, but it did. Grief isn't just about feeling sad, it's also about identifying what you miss. One of the most important steps to relationship recovery is to work on finding a balance between distraction and being alone. You've probably just come into a lot of free time, and while you do want to allow yourself to process the break, you don't want to spend all of that new free time wallowing in your own misery. And adding some new routines into your life can be the best thing to get you out of a rut. Sign up for spin classes, invest more time into the other relationships in your life, or foster a kitten. Whatever it may be, a distraction can help greatly in helping you move on from your old day-to-day -day routine that you shared with this other person. It is important to find a healthy balance between distraction and self-reflection. According to couples therapist and relationship expert, Dr. Tamir, quote, Taking that time to process it and understand it is actually a much quicker way to heal than ignoring it, end quote. Which brings me to my next point of healing, in that you can't force healing. Though at times you may feel frustrated that it's taking you longer than you might hope to recover this relationship, it's completely healthy and normal for you to need time to adjust. Give yourself grace and be patient. The more time that goes on, the more good days that come with it. Recovery is all equal parts, time and effort. When entering a relationship, it is often that we feel our worlds shrink. We see our loved ones less because any free time we have is spent with our partner. But after a breakup, you no longer have your partner to lean on for support. That's why this is a great time to strengthen relationships with friends, coworkers, families, and peers. Social support is crucial for recovery and engaging more frequently with people you do not associate with your ex-partner can be immensely helpful in getting over them. If you can do all this, then one day hopefully we'll all be able to come out of it feeling okay. And in the end, isn't that what we're really after? 
Thank you for listening, and I wish you all the love and loss.